All right, day's getting up there. According to... Oh yeah, it's day 42, yeah. According to the milestone given to us, that's the two-week mark, so we'll have to see if there's news. We got raided. We used... F None of us were wounded. We used five bullets. How are we doing on bullets? 36. We're still pretty good on bullets, actually. Uh, you're tired. You're hungry and very tired. You're hungry. Hey, let's have you work with the distiller really, really quick while you'll help with the food. And our very hungry friend will be less hungry. We should be doing good. Yeah, we have a lot of water, a lot of fuel, a lot of food. Wow, we have a surplus of everything involved in this in this formula here. And while that's happening, I'll check the radio real quick. I could use some rest. We'll get there. Mr. Very Hungry. Come on, news. Next few days should be warm and pleasant. A little windy. Good old classical. Vegetable crisis has come to an end. Looters are on a rampage. Rock music's playing. Alright. Go get your food, buddy. Bruno's taking a nap. Oh, that caught me off guard a little bit. Oh no, we're short of water filter? Tragedy has struck. Alright. You're going to go to sleep. Oh no, are we making them right now? Crap. Wait, what did I just do? Did I click on an X on something? That was weird. Anyway, uh, we'll get that water filter done in a moment. Let's get him fed. And then right off to sleep. Uh, the traps have not caught anything, unfortunately. Oh, someone's here to trade. Hang on a minute. We're doing the distilling. At some point, you could do a decent job of surviving just by trading and... Or just trading with this guy over and over again. One of the main things that I think helps is... Would be, uh... I think it does help to go off and, uh... Collect wood and stuff like that on your own instead of trading for it. Because with the hatchet, you can get so much done. I'm a little unsure about whether... Let's see, sugar? Yeah, we're out of sugar. So we'll want to trade for more of that. I'm a little unsure about whether... Whether he's coming more often, or if days are just passing by faster. It always feels like he's not sp it always feels like he's here early. But I think it's- I'm probably just getting into more more of a groove as the time- as the game goes on and time passes faster in my head. And it's like, oh, it's time for him already. You get into your you kind of get into the repetition in your patterns. Hang out, buddy. We'll be we'll be there for you in a moment. Then we'll trade, and then this poor lady will go to sleep. Wow, if Marco died in a day 18... Yeah, Marco died on day 18. Pavel killed a bandit on day 20. When did Pavel die? Pavel died on, on day 25, exactly one week after Marco died. Wow, even so even solo Pavel was actually kind of longer than I thought it was. I, I, I felt like Marco was around forever, but Pavel died like immediately after Marco died, but Marco died... Marco lived two and a half weeks. Pavel did a week of scavenging on his own. Not entirely accurate, I guess. I, I think they were trading off. Uh, we already crafted our cigarettes. Yeah. May want to trade for more ammo. But yeah, base defenses are as good as they're going to get. Aside from maybe having even more people uh, camping at night. Hey, Franco, when are you just going to move in? You're really good at scavenging. We should be able to hire this guy. Just make him scavenge for us or trade for us. Just switch teams. No, I, th I think he said that he's he's got a family to go home to. I think is what he says. So that they seal that deal right off the bat and making sure that you're not going to get him somehow. Hello. It'd be kind of a, uh, kind of cute if like being tired and stuff like that somehow affected your ability to trade. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, this is the best time to trade ever is when you're with when you're with a uh, Franco. Specifically because you're, you have in, you have infinite inventory space. So if you see something and you have the resources for it, just freaking grab it. Does he have? He has no tobacco for me right now. But uh, yeah, a lot of components and sugar and ammo should be good for me, I think. And the vegetable shortage is supposed to be over, so that might be easier to acquire now. So he's willing to trade. 
five. Let's see, it's two... It's... It's two purified alcohol for one moonshine, which means that one moonshine... Two purified alcohol costs three sugar. So, so four of them costs six sugar. So seven, yeah, actually, that's a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar trading is a, is a, if I'm, if I'm doing my math correctly, at least, maybe not. It's, it's close. It's close to being one-to-one -one trading five, uh, five alcohol for seven sugar, and then getting all the other stuff in addition is like a great, crazy, uh, crazy bonus. Oh, he's calling that generous, huh? All right, we'll scale back and take this step by step. Wait, why did I add another one? <laughs> After the first one was happy. There we go. All right. And so our supply of sugars increased. We now have seven. We, we had zero before. So we have enough for two more brews. Uh, we're low on wood, but high on fuel. So if I want wood for crafting purposes, I can get it. He's, he's all out of components. Not in a big hurry to trade off all of my cigarettes, and then we're doing good on food. So, water would be good. How's our water? 12. Yeah, we could always use more water. Let's see what I need for this one. Uh, wow, we have a deal immediately, huh? Uh, let's see if I can add to that then. Vegetables. No, I didn't think so. Uh, I'll just keep stacking on wood until he's happy. Nope, never mind. That's a, apparently the most perfect trade in the history of all of games, so good for you. Is there anything else I want? I think I'm happy to ignore his food for now. I could put in one of these and just see how much wood I can get. The answer is eight wood. Nah. That's stuff I can get for free. That's the stuff that I add to the equation on my own. Uh, go ahead and get out of here. He comes back often, and it's perfect. Alright, see you later, buddy. <laughs> that, that awkward moment where I don't think he's gonna close the door, so I close it, and then we... Video game logic means that it opens and closes repeatedly for a while. Are you awake already? You are. Well, that's perfect. It's time to brew. Alright, food supplies are going down a tad. We're down to 17, which is definitely a step down from before. I'm training for water so often, though, that I don't even have to filter it anymore. And I already have what I need to make my two moonshine. So it's time to send you off to bed. Your relief has woken up. Still no tobacco. I'm glad I didn't have to trade my cigarettes for that reason. Are there any updates on the story? Uh, we have chairs. Oh, look, now it says we have chairs, because I built two, instead of saying we have one chair. But we could use an armchair. We have beds, we can sleep in decent conditions, someone gets sick, they have a place to rest. Radio, books, uh, nothing new really. We lack coffee. I probably should have traded for coffee for morale, huh? How's she feeling? Oh, she's not sad anymore. So, not that much need for coffee for that reason at least. How are you feeling? Anton's recovered. That's good too. Let's see, is there anything to craft right now? I could look into that armchair situation. Except I don't have any, I don't have any wood though, do I? Because I didn't cra I didn't bring any with me. Yep. So if I want armchairs to make people really comfortable, uh, maybe that'll be one of my next priorities. But for now, it's, we're gonna hold off. So you guys, go ahead and relax. You guys are just hungry and and or tired in one person's case. So no one needs medication. No one needs bandages, which is good because we're we're out of medication and have one bandage left. I should might want to trade for those just in case. Uh, but otherwise we're good to go, and our economy is already a work in progress, so let's just wait it out. Alright, business as usual. Those two are gonna be on guard duty, Bruno's gonna go on scavenging, we're gonna go back to the shelled school. And this time, with my bare goddamn hands, I'm just gonna pick up everything that I can. <laughs> Cause that's... I already chopped it up. Now let's just buy a mount- let's pick up a mountain of wood. I'm partly doing this because, uh... Well, we have cooked up the next batch of moonshine. We don't currently have it distilled yet. We need we need more time for that. Probably could have managed my time a little better, but uh, didn't quite work out. So, tomorrow night would be a better night for going out to trade once I craft that. So now I'm just gonna jam my inventory with as much wood as I possibly can fit in there, which is not 
a very hard thing to calculate. It's it's 20 wood. It's 20 wood is how much I can carry. And we're gonna run right back out there and continue. That, wow, it's gonna not take very long, is it? This is exactly why I was trying to grab all the fuel last time. It's because I'm mostly using it as fuel and damn if it doesn't just... You can just carry so much more. Yep, yeah, I'm already out of space. I could probably come back for another 20 wood at some point if I need to. And I don't even need to bring an axe, because I already pre-chopped it last time. Alright, well that's a quick night. It's, not, it's only 10 p.m. I should be able to make it home nice and safe. He shouldn't even be tired in the morning. He should go home, and it should just count him as being uh, rested. <laughs> Days keep ticking on by. Day 43, were we raided again? No, night was calm. So much for that crime wave, huh? Alright, Bruno's tired, but other people are hungry, right? Actually, he's one of those people. Come to think of it. Take care of that real quick. How's the traps doing? No food. It happens. It happens. Anyway, we'll make a couple dishes real quick. Get you on duty. Radio man, let's go. Nope. Nope. Vegetable crisis is over. Band of looters, yes, the usual stuff. Yeah, that's mellow. Let's see. You'll take care of the mo of the uh, distillery for now. So for the distillery, for two of these, we need two water filters. That'll become our priority real quick. While the other two eat and go to sleep, you'll take set the distillery up, and then you'll go to sleep yourself. There's the two water filters. All right, Bruno, get your fill. Oh, wow. Wow, I looked away for a second, and both of these things suddenly had uh, a supply of food on them. What are the odds of that, huh? So Bruno's going to go ahead and reset these traps then while we're doing this. Send you down to the other one. Wow. I just said that they didn't catch anything, and then we, I look a second later and they both caught something. Alright. Well, that'll keep our food supply up. We just got two food out of nowhere. Traps are comically effective. Visit that distillery. Hustle. I want to see some... I want to see some effort, old man. Alright. Um, there, there we go. Trap is set for more dead rats. We're gonna cook the shit out of those rats. And yeah, we're right back up to 17 again, despite cooking for two people. <laughs> two in, two out was today's, uh, food production. That's lucky. The fuck? You're the Viceni Militia? The fuck? I like how they default immediately to sitting on the porch every single time. Even when they're like a big adult here. Did the war just... And We know you're there. That's weirdly threatening. I'm brewing. You're gonna wait, because I'm scared of you? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna- are you gonna threaten us? Oh, shit. What if there's gonna be a siege tonight? What if they're gonna attack us? They might be here to threaten us. And take everything we got. Ah, shit. Alright, Anton. You're technically the most disposable. You answer the door. Maybe maybe the game's over. Let's talk, he says. Ah. Uh, we're looking for a thief. Do you know anything? Citizen, several days ago, someone from this neighborhood stole supplies from a humanitarian aid container. Those supplies are vital to us. There's a reward for our help in seizing the culprit. One of your neighbors was reportedly sniffing around the container, and we have reason to believe he took the supplies. Can, you confirm, can we confirm our suspicions? They'd give us 18 cigarettes, 6 coffee, and 3 food. Shit. I'm really undecided on this. Do I turn somebody in? For stealing? I took from the fucking aid container too, like... That's rough. No, this can't be okay. I took- I, I took part in it. And we're, we're- it's the militia, like, they're basically the enemy. Like, they're actively a problem, and they want me to rat out my neighbors. So, no. Remember, there's a reward. No. Hopefully nobody else turns them in. Cause we're we're good to go here, damn it. How's our supplies? So we have, we're back up to seven moonshine again. 
16 cigarettes. See, we don't even need their bullshit. We got our own supply. Uh, a few food. Food. I have my own food. I don't need to turn somebody in for that. Now, on that topic, I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's make some lockpicks. I keep thinking about going loca locations that I know have lockpick locations, and I keep not bringing any. Because, uh, I keep forgetting to make any at all. So, I'll make a couple of lockpicks real quick. For some of those locked objects. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, but I already have a crowbar, right? Which can be used for the same thing. Do I even remember what location needs lockpicks? I've probably forgotten already. Let's just drop it. Let's let's go to sleep, tired man, and wait for the day to pass. Yeah, lock, crowbar does the same thing as lockpicks, I believe. But I I have to remind I have to try to remind myself which location had the locked door in the first place, and that's tough on its own. Oh, our bios have been updated. Bruno says, I hope covering our neighbor's ass doesn't get us into trouble. Amelia says, I... If we had confirmed the so soldiers' suspicions, we could have profited. They said there was a reward. Wow. These two are... Not great people, are they? That's what I'm picking up on. Does the guy have anything? Nope, he's just worried about our lack of food from day 34, so... Not a lot of updates from Anton nowadays. Oh wait, before I got it interrupted, I was thinking of making an armchair. There we go. That'll make things nice around here, huh? Pop a few of these down. Where am I allowed to build these? Do I, I don't have to build it all the way upstairs, do I? That just feels like a weird location. Can I not build it anywhere down here? Did I use every single spot? What about up here in the house? <laughs> That'd be really weird, right? Alright, upstairs armchair it is. Everyone build armchairs. We're gonna all be goddamn happy around here. Or else. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we have the supplies for it. This is, a, this is extravagance at its very greatest. Armchairs galore for everyone. And now we bask in the glory of our accomplishments. <laughs> this is where it comes in handy that they give me a countdown here. So I've been to the brothel three days ago, the hotel four days ago, and the detached house seven days ago. So if I go by those numbers, that should be the place I go to next if I want to have the most refreshed trade, which is admittedly still not even a mechanic I know of for sure exists. I'm just kind of thinking maybe. <laughs> I know that the inventory of stores changes over time, but I d I've never really tested it in any real scientific way. So I'm kind of just experimenting with it and just thinking like, eh, if I give, if I put time between my visits, maybe they're getting more, more, more restocking. Looking at what we need here, uh, we're actually good on ammo with a good 40 shots at the moment. We have a lot of fuel and wood, a lot of components. We really just need, sh we need tobacco and sugar as is often the case. But more components and water is always good too, and more wood, and so on. Let's just go right after the trade guy. I don't think we're gonna be doing anything especially interesting right now, besides doing a quick trade. I've been here enough times that I should have most of the stuff that's even grabbable. I've more or less picked this place clean of everything that's not tied down. And I don't feel much need to go burrowing through to try to steal from them. What do you guys got here? You got veggies, you got lockpicks, you got sugar. Don't think I don't see that sugar. Got some bullets. I'll probably want those. Uh, tobacco, tobacco, yep, tobacco. Alright, those are the things, more or less, that I want. So, we have a deal, you say. Won't do, try harder. But if I pop one more in there, and one more in there, and one more. Whoa. Is it really a 6 to 1 ratio between cigarettes and alcohol at this point? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Huh. Let's test something. So that was how much we needed for a deal. Taking one out made it two, try harder. So if I take out one tobacco? Yeah, it immediately becomes, that's generous of you. Okay, let's try pressing the other way then. Let's try adding something. 
not coffee. Coffee would make people happier a little bit. Um, bit of food. Wouldn't really expect that. Maybe a component. Yeah. One, though. It's something, though. It's something. How's my inventory doing? Alright, we got our sugar, we got our tobacco. That's the biggest goals. We, have, we got an absurd amount of tobacco, frankly. So let's go for their parts. Their components as best as I can. I'll trade cigarettes for their, comp their components. Whoa. Tobacco has devalued a bit. That said, that's a huge amount of... Uh, I can make a huge amount of tobacco with that in a little bit. Uh, this is... This 16 cigarettes is four components and four tobacco, so... As long as I get w one stack of this, it's already an upgrade, but I'm looking for more than that. I just went too far on accident. Uh... Let's add a little water to this. There we go. Do I want weapon parts? I got a book for morale. Water filter? Nope, that was too many. I'll go a little, a few steps further with components if I can. That's too many. All right, let's see if this works. I can't carry that much. All right, sorry, book. That's too much. Let's go for more components. All right, that's the cutoff. Is this enough? I can't carry that much. <sighs> Frustrating when that happens. Uh, I'll just go for the components in this case. No, the water filters are good though. Or how about that many? I'll just reduce till I until it's enough. That many, and go. Can't carry that much. God damn it! Okay, cut out some of these. There we go. That's the cutoff point, okay? So we- oh, it was the one extra tobacco that was causing me problems, because it's floating there in its own little- in its own little row. I'll make do. That's a- trading for filters is good for storage space, though, as far as, like, just, like, bandwidth of a trade. Because that right there, I believe, is nine components. That's more than two stacks of components, so... As far as getting a certain value based out of how much I can carry, that's pretty good. Admittedly, I could be do making some, I could be making some serious trades right here if I still had Marco because uh, he could carry fifty percent more equipment. So that means I could have fifty percent fifty percent more lucrative trades. Day forty four of creepy gunman. Seriously, what's with the gun guy? Plenty of stuff. What a night! And these guys are up all night for guarding. Were we raided? I'm sure we were. Yeah. We used four bullets to chase them off, and nobody was wounded, as you'd expect. And I got three bullets from the trade, so it's not bad. Uh, double check who's hungry real quick. You're very hungry? Okay, so you head up here. I'm gonna quickly get that food started. Quickly. I say as I misclick a little bit. Alright. You get that started. Go to the... Go visit the distillery next. Let's see what I can get done here. Uh... Ooh, what are we short on? Oh, we're short on sugar, okay. That'll be good for now, though. How are we doing on components? I should make some water filters, probably. I think we're short on- yeah, we're short on water. So you... are going to get us some water. Um, right here. Wait, I already have water filters. Sorry, I just blanked on the fact that I just traded for those. You eat. Doing some micromanaging. I've always been bad at that. I'm not- oh, sorry. Misclicked. Mixed up who, I, who was selecting. Uh, we'll send you over real quick to, to man the other water filter. Sooner all this gets done, sooner everyone pretty much gets to go to sleep. Grab our food. The other one hasn't caught anyone, but this one did. Uh, you're gonna head over to cigarette station. Gotta get busy in the morning, because we don't know if the trader guy's gonna show up or not. And it's good to be ready. Checking our radio. Next few days. Warm and pleasant. Classical music. We are led to believe that international peacekeepers are going to put an end to the civil war in Gran Zanavia in the upcoming days. So any day now it could be over. 
We have confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Pogren. We should expect a ceasefire any day now. That's a big deal. That's the end. We just need to make it last. I'll keep my I'll keep trading regardless. Uh I know you're tired. Let's just get crafting. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of cigarettes. You get busy at the sweatshop. She'll go to sleep. And he'll go to sleep. And as soon as they wake up, you can stop doing cigarette duty. That's the kind of place I run, apparently. I am a monster. At this point, the three of us should just open a freaking... We should just we should just open an actual distillery after the war. <laughs> she could be the yeah. He could be the old guy in the commercials that gives us like a folksy representation that makes us look like a good old company. Pretend we were established in like 1930 or something. Uh, Bruno's a good cook. He can get us efficient use of the ingredients, and we have a lawyer to take care of all of our legal details. We could even build it right. We could build it out of this building right here and. Uh, it could we pretend that it's that we have history and everything and it'll be like a tourist attraction. I Don't know. I'm a horrible person. Wow, we're rounding out the day. The shifts have been shifted I'm still crafting those goddamn cigarettes. I swapped them out for a different person and they're still happening Race 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 He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not shit. There's another one. Oh God, it's really close Uh Got it. Got the cigarette. <laughs> wow. Down to the wire. What the hell am I gonna do now? It's a little anticlimactic, but I, I honestly do kind of feel like I'm just sort of, uh... I don't know. I'm kind of spinning my wheels waiting for the game to end. I feel like I'm kind of set for now. Alright, let's keep these trades going then. Next in line is gonna be the hotel. 39 cigarettes, that is comical. Oh, we only have four, oh, okay, we only have four alcohol, that makes more sense. I'm like, this can't, this, I can't have that much stuff, can I? So we're once again, gonna want tobacco and sugar, but at this point, honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll peace out. Maybe this will be my last trade, maybe I'll just trade for food and ammo and just sit out the rest of this war call it quits on the entire economy situation, C cash out and put faith in the humanitarian effort. This might be it. We'll see how- <laughs> we'll see if my faith is well placed. I mean, it's day 44. At this point, all I need is to not get killed in our sleep. For peace and freedom, cheers! What are they cheering about? Maybe they'll just be... Is that the... I just realized, I think they're... I think they're shouting stuff like that specifically to be all like, Yeah, these are the good guys! Like, there's some characters being like, Peace and freedom! While other characters are like, Let's go murder people! As, just to make it as obvious as possible who's good and who's bad. So that you don't get worried or attack the wrong people or something. I'll ask for vegetables... Canned food... Carrots... Um... Raw food. Oh, that's over the limit. Could do with water. So I'm about ready to cash out, I think. Bullets. Is that medicine? I didn't mean to grab medicine at all. Whoops. I meant to grab the canned food. We have a deal. That's five coffee. Let's see how many secrets I can get out of here. Oh, none of them. Okay, that's a little rougher then. I'll take the... The veggies are good, it helps us conserve resources a bit. Let's see how many of these I can remove. There we go. Alright, keeping 11 cigarettes for myself, that'll keep him happy smoking. I'll have more canned food. More food in general. We have a bunch of components at home, we can get more water. I can't add any more, I assume. More ammo to protect ourselves, more food. Coffee will keep our coffee drinker happy, smokes will keep our smoker happy. I think we're just gonna bunker down. We're shutting down our operation. Enjoy the enjoy the final of the uh, final part of our offering. There we go. 
let's 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 enjoy our final days of the war. Ter that's totally the wrong word choice, isn't it? <laughs> Day 45, curb on crime. Wow. So even the crime's gonna calm down. That was like the one thing to worry about still. So the, the gun, that gun picture must have been a constant reminder that crime was happening. It wasn't entirely clear just because there wasn't a subtitle saying CRIME'S HAPPENING! But I assume that was what it was referring to because there was a crime announcement early on. Let's check our news. Warm weather. Classical. Peacekeepers are incoming. Yep, not much going on. Alright, who's hungry? You're very tired, you're very hungry, you're very hungry. Alright. Uh, we have all the fuel already. I was about to make fuel real quick. Alright. Let's get that vegetable stew going, huh? Nice, full amount of food. Let's see, so we can't make any brews. Can't make any more tobacco. We have tobacco to last three days, coffee to last five. We've got these nice supplies of books and armchairs. I might even let them eat more, just to make them feel better. Let's see, Bruno, you're not- you're gonna go to sleep. Oh, look! There's even more food down there. We'll see, maybe tomorrow I'll let everyone eat again, regard regardless of whether or not we actually need it or not. We'll just bask in my successes. But yeah, we're, we're, we're just gonna start fast-forwarding the clock, I think, and have and uh, sort of waiting out these days and just accept our victory. Because unless we get raided real hard, this should be a victory, I believe. So, and uh, if no one's out scavenging, I can have three people on guard every night, which helps ensure that we have a victory. I think we're good to go. Traps are set. Music's playing. We'll just wait to see if anyone shows up at the door, and everyone get a nice rest. Oh shit, the war's over. You've survived. I spent my last day sleeping in bed and doing nothing <laughs> after cashing out. I chose the perfect possible freaking day to like cash out all of my stuff. It's like the game knew. Buried alive, a shell hit a nearby tenement and some people were trapped in the rubble. Pavel helped pull them out. Day 4. Day 8. Sniper, father and child. Pavel helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home from it to, to a sick child. Day 18. Amelia was seeking shelter. Amelia was looking for shelter and we let her stay with us. Day 18. Marco died. He was killed looking for supplies. That's the only mention he gets even though he was my primary supply looker for so long. His primary contribution was dying, according to the screen. Day 19, saving life. Our neighbor's children asked for medication for her. She shared the little we had for them. Day 19, fight for survival. Pavel encountered several bandits and managed to kill them. Day 20, blood on our hands. Pavel killed a bandit. Day 23, grateful daughter. A daughter of one of our people we had saved earlier came to thank us and give her mother, mother's earrings. Day 25, Pavel died. Pavel was killed while looking for supplies. Day 34, indecent proposal. When one of our neighbors asked to help him rob a rich, rich family, we refused. Day 38, plea for help. Our neighbor felt unsafe and asked us to help her board up her windows. We did that. Day 43, Rebel Investigation. Rebel soldiers asked us if our neighbors had stolen supplies from a humanitarian aid container. We lied to them and denied it. Day 45, Ceasefire. Long-awaited ceasefire finally came into the forest, eventually putting an end to the fighting Pugrin. Those who managed to survive the war in Graznazia will never, will never forget it. Whoa, that's a lot going on there. While the war left deep marks on Anton's character, he returned to teaching with newfound determination. And while too old for the Fields Medal, he he's still eligible for the equally prestigious Abel Prize. After the war, Amelia became a public prosecutor in Pogorin. She used her law expertise in trials of war criminals who were brought to justice. She had never found out 
She has never found out uh, who the murderers of her family were, but deep inside she hopes they got what they deserved. After the ceasefire, Bruno went looking for his friend. Her neighborhood saw heavy fighting, and most of the houses have been reduced to ruins. But she's found shelter in the basement which held... Uh, eating rats and scavenged scraps of food, she somehow managed to survive. Bruno felt responsible for her misery. He has never forgiven himself. For all his efforts, uh, for all his efforts, Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughters will find it someday, on condition that they manage to survive the persecution themselves. Sadly, Pavel died. Would his family, uh, uh, will his family come back to Pogrin to visit his grave one day, or will it be too painful? A reminder of what they had gone through. Did the dead even care? There's some dark territory for you. An interesting touch there is that, uh... You can almost- you can almost treat these all as being character-driven moments, because my playstyle actually altered with each of the two deaths. I was, uh, being as pacifist as possible for as long as possible, but very aggressively, uh, scavenging as Marco. He dies, Pavel takes charge on- on, uh, on the scavenging from that point on, and becomes relatively violent by comparison. He's, uh, repeatedly killing for- re for resources, but only killing bandits, specifically but still killing. And then he meets his bloody end, as you might kind of expect from that kind of behavior. And then Bruno presumably takes charge from that point on, and all they do is they just weather the storm with firewood and food and uh, and their ongoing distillery, and that weathered out the, rem the, the entire remaining war, even through the harsh winter and everything. And the other two just were, well, they were there. <laughs> Can't help but frame it exclusively in the context of the people that were there from the very beginning. Alright guys, well this has been this war of mine, the little ones. I'm uh... I will say I'm a little undecided about making another season. I was thinking about it, but uh... At the same time... I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how kids play out, because the kids never actually came by at any point. <laughs> so much for the little ones. Uh... Apparently, I actually tried talking to people online about this to figure out what was going on, and apparently, unless you, sp uh, you can actually, I believe, have kids in your starting crew if you make a custom campaign. But aside from that, when you make your random campaigns, you basically rely on the kids randomly joining your game. So some people were saying that this was not the Little Ones campaign. It technically was. The, I, I think the existence of the snowman and the teddy bear might actually just inherently mean that that was part of the, the Little Ones campaign. I just never got the dice roll, in that, uh... I had two survivors show up over the course of the entire game, and neither of them happened to be kids or people that had kids. And so I never had to deal with that particular scenario. A little let- little let down by that. Uh, but it happens. But, uh, the reason why I'm a- I'm- the, the, I, I started the playthrough immediately being like, Alright, let's do a second playthrough of this afterwards. It was specifically the later parts of the playthrough where I started thinking, Ah, uh, I don't- entirely know if I want to do another playthrough of this, just because, uh... I just, it kind of became repetitive, and I was doing very well for myself, and I'm kind of afraid of it because uh, I'm kind of afraid of falling into the same groove again. So, I guess if I played again, maybe I would be a- maybe I'd be a shitty person. Maybe I would be a series of horrible raiders that actually attack people, like, or I'd go into these bases that have, uh, like, the innocent people, and I'd go and rob them, and stuff like that. Like, maybe that would be what happens. Because I'd want to- I definitely would want to make the playthrough different somehow, because otherwise, uh, the repetition would probably start to grind on me. And I, I want to think of this game positively, because this, this first playthrough was really cool, and it'd be a bummer to get bored during a second one. Uh, but the addition of a kid and or lots of uh, scavenging violence could be good- could be one way to mix things up and having to deal with people's depression and stuff like that as I do horrible things or something like that, which is horrible to think about. Although, even then, I'm a little bit discouraged just because, uh, honestly, the combat itself, the controls are weird, and I think I might have, I'm not even, I, have, I still haven't checked the footage, honestly, but I, I, I sus somewhat suspect I might have even lost Pavel due to a mistake being made uh, where, like, I, I think I might have adjusted the camera, and that counted as a click, and then Pavel came out of cover and died, and, like, it's, it's, the fact that, the way that it's currently handled is kind of, 
awkward, so I don't know if I'd want to hinge my entire gameplay experience on repeated combat experiences, because that might not be the most fun way to play. We'll see, though. I won't totally rule it out either way. But uh, either way, guys, thanks for watching like always. This has been a Patreon-sponsored series. For those of you that don't know what that means, that means that uh, my actual supporters on Patreon voted for this game, as you may have seen at that little... if you didn't know what that vote meant at the beginning of the series. What that means is people who support me on Patreon, which is totally voluntary, uh, can either nominate and or vote on the games each month. Uh, the, the nominations is a higher tier. That's mostly a demand thing because uh, right now, uh, at the moment, I have like 60 supporters, and if they could all nominate games, then the monthly poll would be this giant vote of like 60 games, and it would, most people wouldn't even read it, honestly. And you just skip to the, some of the, you like you wouldn't want to research the ones you don't know or anything. You would just be like, eh, whatever. I recognize that game. We'll click on that one, and, and then you'd move on, and the votes would be disappointing. So instead, a relatively small number of people get to nominate the games. So if you want to get on into that pool, that's possible. Uh, otherwise, if you even donate so much as a, as a dollar a month at, uh, in the bottom tier, you get to vote. And every month, you'll just get that thing in your inbox. Make sure that you don't have Patreon on your in your spam box or whatever. Uh, you just get this link to a poll, and you get to vote, when, provide your information, and so on, and affect what gets played next month. We've been playing this every month for a while. Oh man, let's challenge myself again. Can I remember what they all are? Oh man, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Super Meat Boy, uh, Far Cry 4, Undertale, Factorio, This War of Mine, Oxenfree, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's all of them anymore, I think that the, the, so in other words, I've been doing this for a while now, uh, all those, all those are examples of, of previous games that have been voted for, and, uh, yeah, the, the list is getting just long enough now that I actually can't necessarily remember the whole thing anymore, that's crazy. But yeah, thanks for watching like always, guys. Be sure to check out patreon.com slash SebastianSB if you want to be a part of these votes in the future. If not, totally voluntary. You'll still get to watch the shows themselves that other people are choosing. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.